All that year, the animals worked like slaves, but they were happy in their work. They grudged no effort or sacrifice, well aware that everything that they did was for the benefit of themselves and those of their kind who would come after them, and not for a pack of idle, thieving human beings. Throughout the spring and summer, they worked at 60-hour weeks, and in August, Napoleon announced that they would work on Sunday afternoons as well. This work was strictly voluntary, but any animal who was absent, who absent himself from it, would have his rations cut in half. <clears throat> Good reading from the book of George Orwell, Animal Farm. So today I'm just going to do a little reflection. Uh, kind of busted up from yesterday, the Trump hat. Oof. Oof. I shake it off. <laughs> so, um, so I guess I want to talk about the, uh, the gaslighting effect, what we saw on display yesterday. We saw, uh, I was in Trump territory. I was in uh, liberal Democrat territory. And I was wearing a Trump hat. I was, uh, I, I was, in theory, representing the opposition to them. But I wanted to, the, the point of that was that a lot of people. I think it, I think we get, I think we get very comfortable online, especially in a forum like this, where these are the awake people, the the thinkers are here. But you're a very small mi minority. You're only we're only 20 percent of the country, maybe less. 80 percent of the country are sleepers. That's what I'm trying to tell you, is that, you know, 80% of the country is, is fastly asleep. And you saw that yesterday, deeply gaslighted. And you saw that yesterday on display, where we think that in all of the places in America where, where um, civics should be understood and constitutional stuff should be understood and the effects of a gaslighting campaign on by a uh, corporately owned media should be understood would be on a college campus in New York City New York University NYU Greenwich Village ooh right people should be wide awake but that's not the case it's not the case at all right it's easy for us to see that gaslighting effect right it's very easy because it's on display, right? It's, it's pitting, it's the art of war, it's Sun Tzu's art of war where one side is pin, pitted against the other side. And as long as they're fighting, then, then the masters can take control. The masters win the day, right? The art of war. Keep your en the, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. It's easy, how do you defeat an enemy? Just pick another, pick the enemy of your enemy and pit them against each other. In the art of war. It's the old days, there's the cannonballs. Right? You take your cannon and pow, you blow up your other guy's ship. You blow up the ship, right? Fucking cannonball. <laughs> right? So, um, there's also a logo in the uh, in in my uh, thumbnail. It's the Ghost Army, right? Look it up. 1940s, World War II. It was many, many years. It's many, many. I'm gonna try not to get hit by a car today. <laughs> it was many, many years of uh, before the operations of the Ghost Army and Special Ops are revealed after the fact because they they work in secret and we we definitely do the same thing today there's no doubt about it we have all those operations i know a lot of this community too thinks thinks that everything's a psyop everything's a show hush hush and a lot of that is true there are a lot of psyops going on but but some sometimes it's just it's it's more it's more blatant and it's it's clearer than all of that that the search isn't very deep at all 
you know, yesterday you saw you saw kids just you you approach them and you ask them basic questions about about their their elected officials and they don't they have this this altered version of this altered reality of what's going on it's a corporate media feeding into the human condition which is which is uh, it, I don't want to get too into you know I, I may segue this series someday into uh, monkey mind and what that means but I, I don't think people are ready for that yet I'm not going to start talking about that but it's this it's this notion of it's this notion of locking in the mind locks into something and and um, and there's no space there's no space for ref reflection it's just a constant thought stream without being able to to realize the distortion of that and and the mainstream media feeds into it right? so what the thing I wanted to point out today is that it occurred to me and it has always occurred to me <laughs> it occurred to me especially yesterday is that although it's easy for people watching this this uh, channel to identify how badly the kids in that school or, I mean, Washington Square Park is not just a university campus, but it's, it's also, it's NYU, it's, it's Greenwich Village, it's the center of Greenwich Village. So it's a very interesting place to do a study like that, where you wear a Trump hat, and, you know, 95% of the people want to kick in, you know, they want to give you a ball kick from behind <laughs> while you're walking around. But, but it's easy to see the gaslighting on display, where the corporate media has has completely and utterly sold these people on the idea that Trump equals hate. That making America great again is a racist statement. If you don't think that gaslighting works, if you don't think that the mainstream media, I mean, everybody thinks we're so smart here, you know, oh yeah, we're, we're not affected by that. But the vast majority of people are. It's a very, very, very dangerous slope we're living in right now, where where you know the, the mainstream media has enormous power and breath over the people right and it's not enough to go just blame Fox blame MSNBC blame CNN you have to go to the ownership you have to go up the ladder of the food chain which is what I've been saying all along like the ghost army of the 40s that was or what Orwell was saying I didn't really comment on that what Orwell was saying really is that George Orwell was saying that if the sleepy masses are led to believe that their efforts are for them that every all the, the, the fruits of their labor are for them then they'll keep working 60 hours 70 hours Sunday Sunday Monday Tuesday not Saturday they'll just keep working they'll keep their head down keeping the money machine going there's that quote Boss guy asks the guy asks his boss. Boss says says to the guy, "It's good, great man. You guys, are, you had a great year this year." Uh, forget about that. I, I had a I had a joke in my head and I just lost it. But anyway, you have you have this. See, that's monkey mind. That's what I'm trying to. I'm thinking. I'm not paying attention to the mu muse. But anyway, this is this is this bullshit. Is Conti is this just bullshit? Is this just rambling? Is this is this necessary dialogue? And well, just give us the facts, Conti. I think reflection is very important because if you do the same things, you get the same result, right? It's just it's just a continuation to learn how to to stop mind, stop thought flow for just a second and observe it. It's very important, and I don't think. I, I'm, I don't think I, I'm sure that 90% of the population doesn't understand that. It's all, it's all ego driven rather than it's rather rather than uh, driven from a, a genuine place of clarity. So these operations that go on and on like the ghost army of the 40s and the current operation of the possession of the the uh, corporate media right are the same 
the enemy has become the people. Right? In, in times of real war, you know, where guns are shooting and bombs are flying, that type of war will use the military and covert operations, right, which is still going on. But when there's not a war, really, we don't really have an enemy. The oligarchy, they want it, they, they're, they're trying, they're desperately trying to expand globally. Inventions like the TPP with 500 lawyers converge to make something, to make this, um, this rights grab happen so that they can be above the U.S. government. They can operate here and take our money and be funded with our taxes, but essentially they're above us. Those sorts of rights grabs. But it's essential to realize that that the kids out in that park yesterday, right? That gaslighting on display. You too. The people who watch this that I've been trying to say all along, right? That really is one of one of my principal, you know, points is that the gaslighting is 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 engulfing you too because because you support you're supporting you're supporting economic policies via Trump in terms of corporate taxation lowering their taxes not holding them consider thinking of the corporate corporate entities in America as separate from the cabal ooh the cabal right and then once someone suggests that you hold the corporations accountable by taxing them, by prosecuting them when they break the law, when they launder money, right? That somehow that that's not capitalism, that that's the, the yes word, socialism. You're a socialist. That's your form of, that's the gaslighting designed for you, and it works. It does work. Just as Trump hate for you, it's anything for the people, taxation on corporations to hold them accountable, socialism. Those two are the same. And you're a victim of it. You're a victim of it. Am I a socialist? <laughs> I believe in social pro programs like the police and the fire department and social, you know, universal health care as a right for all people. Education, like in the public school systems, just extend it to college. That's it's just a natural evolution of of ideas. Gaslighting. That's what that's what we're we're up against. You can drain the swamp, lock up all the FBI, the CIA, all those guys. Right? Lock them up, right? That'll solve the problem, right? But the real problem is is one step higher. My example of the bridge yesterday, you can see the bridge, is that the bridge is the, the, the mighty divide that it just goes right over everybody. And all that shit down in the swamp, the politicians and the, you know, and the, uh, the executive branch, the, the CIA, FBI, and NSA, they're just responding to the money. That's all they do. Give me the money. Where's the money? Yeah, that's where we're going. That's right. Corporations, money. Making America great. Right? Unless you address that problem, you, you address nothing. That's not socialism. That's that's called that's called taking aim and firing. <laughs> right? Right? I got ants on me, I'm sorry. I laid my, my bag down and I answer, I'm answer getting a free ride. It's fall in New York, man. It's a beautiful time. It's a beautiful time. We need engagement. We need... If you're watching this, you're 10 years ahead of your time. Right? Time stamp. 2018. In 2025... If these videos are still up and your comments are still there, we will be, we will be perceived as have, being great thinkers of our time.
because it's not that hard to figure out. It's just that no one's willing to speak about it. No one's willing to. No one's willing to go on the record because there's no there's no profit motive. There's nothing. What? I'm a guy walking around in the park with a, you know, with a, with a joystick. But the corporate media is the ghost army. Understand that. And to, to attack the, the, the ghost army, you can't just, you just can't, I mean, you could call them out for their bluff, but you have to go to the root of the problem, which is the, fund, the, the corporations that fund them. Rachel Maddow, Anus Cooper, and those guys. Wolf Blitzer. Six million, ten million dollars a year? To spoo garbage? But we know that. And the Democrats. Just vote Democrat. Vote blue no matter who. Trump. We need more Republicans. We need more Republicans. This kind of talk is killing us. 90% of the, 99% of the population, they're killing us. They're totally killing us, raping, stealing our treasure, raping us. Raping us of our dignity, raping us of our speech. Raping us of our free time, our ability to choose. My name is Marcus Conti reporting.